On September 5, 1977, humanity launched a small, unassuming spacecraft into the vastness of space. Its name was Voyager 1. No bigger than a compact car, this robotic emissary carried no crew, no return plan, and no certainty of survival. Sent by NASA, its mission was as ambitious as it was unprecedented, to explore the outer reaches of our solar system, to study planets and moons no human had ever seen up close, and to extend the hand of human curiosity into the darkness beyond. At the time, few could have imagined that this tiny machine would become one of the most enduring and awe-inspiring achievements in the history of space exploration. Voyager 1 was originally tasked with conducting close-up studies of Jupiter, Saturn, and their largest moons, as well as the powerful magnetic environments surrounding these giant planets. Alongside its twin, Voyager 2, it would perform flybys designed to reveal new worlds in extraordinary detail. What began as a planetary reconnaissance mission soon transformed into something far greater. Voyager 1 proved to be more than a scientific instrument. It became a storyteller, returning tales from regions of space humanity had never touched. In the early 1980s, Voyager 1 astonished the world with breathtaking imagery. It revealed the violent storms churning through Jupiter's atmosphere, including the Great Red Spot, a hurricane so vast that three Earths could fit inside it. It documented towering volcanic eruptions on Io, proving for the first time that active volcanism exists beyond our planet. It delivered humanity's first detailed views of Saturn's rings, revealing an intricate and fragile structure shaped by gravity and time. And when it peered through the dense golden haze of Titan, Saturn's largest moon, it hinted at a complex and mysterious world hidden beneath thick clouds. These discoveries alone would have secured Voyager 1 a permanent place in scientific history. But its true legacy began only after these encounters ended. Instead of powering down at the end of its planned five-year mission, Voyager 1 pressed onward. It ventured into the outer solar system, a realm no spacecraft had ever traversed. Year after year, decade after decade, it drifted farther from Earth, still sending precious data through an ever-shrinking array of instruments, defying expectations and outlasting every projection. By 2012, Voyager 1 crossed an invisible and historic frontier, the heliopause. This boundary marks the point where the solar wind from our Sun is finally halted by the interstellar medium a turbulent mixture of gas, dust, radiation, and magnetic fields that exists between stars. For the first time in human history, a man-made object had left the protective bubble of the sun's influence and entered interstellar space. Beyond this boundary, the environment is alien in every sense. Temperatures drop toward absolute zero. High-energy cosmic rays from distant galaxies strike freely no longer shielded by the sun's magnetic field. Plasma densities shift, magnetic fields twist, and particle behavior defies simple intuition. Interstellar space, once imagined as empty and silent, reveals itself to be dynamic, active, and alive. Since crossing the heliopause, Voyager 1 has continued to send signals back to Earth, delicate transmissions traveling across more than 14 billion miles of emptiness. Light itself takes over 22 hours to reach us from the spacecraft. Every command sent, and every bit of data received, is delayed by nearly an entire day. Each transmission is a whisper from the edge of the known universe, captured by NASA's Deep Space Network, an array of massive radio antennas listening intently for the faint heartbeat of this aging explorer. Voyager 1's journey has not only expanded our understanding of the solar system, it has challenged our assumptions about the cosmos itself. Measurements of plasma waves, subtle ripples in the interstellar medium, have revealed oscillations far more intense and frequent than scientists expected. Interstellar space is not a silent void. It pulses with movement, structure, and energy. Voyager has also recorded magnetic field fluctuations that, while sometimes chaotic, occasionally display surprising order and rhythm. 
Some scientists suggest these patterns may reflect the lingering echoes of ancient supernova explosions, streams of interstellar matter, or vast galactic forces shaping space over millions of years. Others have speculated, more provocatively, that Voyager may be encountering phenomena we do not yet fully understand. While ideas of artificial signals remain unproven and highly speculative, the data itself continues to challenge existing models and raise profound questions. Operating in this environment is a technological miracle. Voyager 1 is powered by a radioisotope thermoelectric generator, or RTG, a small nuclear battery fueled by the slow decay of plutonium. Each year, its power output drops slightly, forcing engineers to make difficult decisions about which instruments must be shut down to preserve the mission. In 2023, NASA engineers even rerouted the spacecraft's memory to bypass a failing chip, a remarkable feat considering the decades-old technology involved, and the vast distance separating Voyager from Earth. Despite aging hardware and dwindling energy, Voyager 1 continues its mission, a triumph of engineering, patience, and human ingenuity. Beyond its scientific instruments, Voyager 1 carries something even more profound, the golden record. This 12-inch gold-plated copper disc contains sounds and images from Earth, greetings in 55 languages, music spanning cultures and centuries, from Beethoven to Blind Willie Johnson, and images depicting life, anatomy, architecture, and DNA. It is humanity's calling card to the universe, a poetic declaration that we once existed, wondered, and reached outward into the stars. In 1990, at the request of Carl Sagan, Voyager turned its camera back toward Earth and captured the iconic pale blue dot. Our entire planet reduced to a single pixel suspended in a beam of sunlight. That image remains one of the most humbling ever taken, a reminder of our fragility and our shared place in the cosmos. Today, Voyager 1 travels through space at roughly 38,000 miles per hour, continuing a journey that will last for millions, perhaps billions, of years. Eventually, its instruments will fall silent and its signal will fade. Yet the spacecraft itself will keep drifting, likely passing near another star system in about 40,000 years, a silent relic of humanity's first attempt to reach beyond its home world. Every piece of data Voyager returns reminds us that space is far from empty. It is a canvas filled with mystery, plasma oscillations, magnetic turbulence, cosmic radiation, phenomena that challenge our understanding of the interstellar medium and spark deeper philosophical questions. Could Voyager have passed through structures we do not yet recognize? Could these fluctuations represent patterns we have only begun to notice? As humanity prepares the next generation of explorers, from breakthrough starshot to future observatories like Hebex and LUVOIR, Voyager 1 remains a symbol of curiosity, courage, and vision. It is both scout and storyteller, revealing what lies beyond while reflecting the boundless drive of the human spirit. The spacecraft's journey is not merely about distance. It mirrors our own journey toward knowledge, imagination, and discovery. As we listen to the faint heartbeat of Voyager 1 across the void, one thing becomes clear. Its story is far from over. Each new signal carries the possibility of revelation, new lessons about the universe, and perhaps even clues to mysteries yet unseen. Voyager 1 reminds us that exploration is not only about reaching distant worlds. It is about daring to ask questions without immediate answers, embracing uncertainty, and pushing beyond the limits of what we know. The cosmos waits. And Voyager 1 continues to lead the way, one faint signal at a time.